I was born in Mobile, Alabama. I um, met Nadine. She's from Hot Springs, Arkansas. And uh, we met in New Orleans, got married in New Orleans, and then moved here to Atlanta uh, 37 years ago. It's been 37 years, uh, February 25th. Uh, how, how does Ben and Nadine get closer to each other? Well, we have a triangle. The closer we get to God, each one of us, the closer we get to each other. And that's where it has happened for the last 37 years. And uh, we have a little saying at the house also that says, I'm so glad we married us. And uh, so we, we don't have uh, any biological children, but, uh, but, but we uh, have a lot of children over the years that uh, we've been with uh, mentoring and loving and loving the families and all. So we have a lot of children everywhere. I am so excited about Cornerstone all together, man. I tell you, internally, um, we love one another. I mean, there's a genuine love within the family, within the fellowship. And uh, we, we have a lot of fun together. I mean, even though now we're virtual, uh, we've got this pandemic going on, we found ways to, to really have fun with one another. We, we tell the people all the time, have, have fun. I have a wonderful staff of ministers and deacons and and I can't even say enough about my paid staff and, and what's happening. I'm, I'm excited about what we do internally. I'm excited about the worship experiences, though we are not uh, in person right now. We're very much so virtual. We've got a wonderful worship team and uh, audio visual team and all. So uh, excited about that. I'm, I'm excited about what happens internally also as it relates to uh, small groups. We're heavy with small groups, particularly also with these virtual uh, happenings and events that are going on. Well, exter externally, I'm, I'm excited about how accessible we are to the community, and particularly our schools. We have backpack ministry, we have after-school Bible study program, and then funding that we give to our various schools. And the relationships are just wonderful in this uh, area here. Pregnancy Resource Center out here in Douglas County uh, just makes a big difference, and uh, we're very much so a part of that. Blood drives going on, and we're looking forward to um, being involved in church planting. Uh, that's how we started as a church plant, so we'll never forget about that and the possibilities that, that go along with that. And then we're excited uh, internationally about what's happening with our friends and loved ones over in Kenya. Everybody knows that uh, I, I, love, I love Kenya. I take my, my Kenyan hat with me everywhere I go. We, we love uh, Bishop Zachariah and uh, Lady Rebecca and the school and the academy that they have over there. My wife and I had an opportunity to go to Kenya uh, back in 2020, uh, before the pandemic really hit. And uh, there are great needs over there. So we're excited inside and out. And so we just pray that God will continue to give us opportunities to, to do his work. Pray for us that first of all, we'll stay healthy, both of us to stay healthy. Uh, I had uh, COVID back about three, four months ago, but uh, the Lord is blessing that we'll stay healthy, that we'll stay close, and that we will continue to seek God's will for our marriage as we are so glad that we married us. Cornerstone is a great church, and yet there is much that needs to be done. Uh, we're in the process right now of um, uh, what we call equipping the saints to be the, to be the workers of ministry, to be, uh, to be mature in ministry. We're, we're in what we call Reset 2021, where we're learning to teach each other, the, the three components to it, teach, train, transform. And we're hitting the reset button. I just thank God for how we're reorganizing with our new ministries and with the, on the, the new way that we're looking at as we reset things, uh, with what we call the MAC, Ministry Action Council. So pray for our Ministry Action Council. Pray that God will continue to speak to us as, uh, as he gives us leadership for how we can keep loving each other, but also how we can reach to this community and continue to get people saved, not only saved, but get them committed uh, to Christ. We have also a little symbol that we use at Cornerstone where Oswald Chambers says that all God wants 
Only thing God wants from us is an unconditional surrender. So everybody at Cornerstone has a flag, and they know what it means when we start waving the flag. God, we, we, we just surrender to you totally, unconditionally. So pray that we will continue to be um, uh, surrendering to God as we do his work and advance his kingdom. Thank you very much, West Metro and friends, for praying with us and praying for us. If we, if it, if it had not been for you, West Metro, Lithia Heights Baptist Church, Central Baptist Church, Mount Harmony Baptist Church, uh, and, and, and other churches that gave money to us and gave love to us over the years, we wouldn't be where we are. Thank you so much for partnering with us. And we desire to continue to be partners in our association as we reach people in this community, in this region of our country and our state for Christ. God bless you, and we continue to pray for you. Let's do this together. Shalom.